Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreateCrafts. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create these adorable and very easy Valentine's Day candles using vinyl and some cute SVG files. Now let's get started. So I'm going to tell you guys, these candles are easy peasy to make and they are so much fun and you can create it for anything. It doesn't have to be just Valentine's Day. So to get started, you're going to want to start out with some kind of SVG file or a file that you create yourself. These three at the top I got from Design Space here and I'll show you in a minute how I got it. And then these two at the bottom I created and I will show you how to make these. But the ones up at the top here, I just wanted to show you quick. Some of my past videos, people ask me, where did you get it? And then I don't always remember. So I'm going to tell you really quick before I do forget where I get it from. So. I found a trick. So if you click on whatever image you're going to be doing, like I said, I bought the, I actually didn't buy it. I got this from Design Space. Um, I have the yearly subscription. So it came with my free, my yearly subscription. Um, so the way that you find out what this is or how other people can do it, you select your image that you have, you go over here to where it's kind of grayed out, you right click on it, and then you click this image info button. And here it is right here. You want to type this number into design space, the M4C8A9E6. And that will pull this one up. And then the same for this. You just select it. You can go on where it's um, a little bit grayer, right click, and then go to the image info. And there it is. So just in case you like these three right here, I actually took a screenshot of this so I could show it to you guys what they are. So these are the ones you just would type in this number or this number. I had this one and I took it off. I didn't really like it anymore. And then here's the other one. And this is just the basic heart that you get on the side here where it says shapes. So just in case, that's where I got it from. But I just took a screenshot of it so you guys could see it really easy. So I'm going to get rid of that. And for these ones, I just made these. They're very simple to do. And this one is uh, beautiful. I love this one. Uh, I used the font I Love Glitter. I actually downloaded it from defont.com and I uh, uploaded it to design space if you're not sure how to do that I do have a video go back and check that one out it shows you how to take a font from Defont and download it into design space but please be careful there are ones on there where they just let you use it for personal use so you cannot use it if you're going to be selling something unless you buy their uh, license for it so please be careful with that these ones i will not be selling i will be selling some of the other ones maybe these ones up here with the candle on it or with this on the candle rather um but i just wanted to show you guys how to do this so for this one i love you or just actually rather love you i'm going to show you how to do that really quick so i just go to the text box here and because i just did it it has the font in so just for the purposes i'm going to get out of this font and i'm just going to pick a random font so i'm just going to type in love you And here it is. So now I have it. I'm going to go up to the font box and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to system and I'm going to type in I love glitter. And here it is because I already downloaded it from Defont. So I'm going to click on that and here it is. So I'm going to bring it a little bit bigger so we can sh I can show you what it looks like. So it doesn't look like this, right? So there's a few things that you have to do to use this font. Again, I did a screenshot of it or actually I took a I wrote it down for you guys so you could see it. So if you want to write this down or take a screenshot of it, uh, basically type a, type a asterisk for the closed heart, type this underscore for the open heart, and then type these brackets for the swirls. So I'll show you what that means in a second. So I'm going to double click on this, get back to this where I can type things, start at the beginning of the L, and I'm going to start with one of those brackets. So that's where this little squiggly line comes in. I'm going to add another one to the back side. So you can see what they are here. They're two little brackets. One's going this way, one's going that way. So you still need the heart in between. So I'm going to get rid of the space here and I'm going to do an asterisk. So I'm just holding down the shift button and I put in number eight. So it gives this. So this is actually the closed heart and this is the open heart. Now I'm going to keep it to the open heart. So I just want to show you what that looked like. So I'm going to just 
get rid of the asterisk and I'm actually going to type the underscore here and then that gives me the open one. I'm going to shrink my screen a little bit so we can see this a little bit better and it still doesn't look right, right? So it's not connected. So the last thing you have to do for this is select your image that you were working with, go up to the letter space up here, and then just push this down arrow until it comes close enough and touches. And this is when I really like to pay attention and make sure I have everything correctly. So I'm gonna make my screen a little bit bigger. And what I meant by that is I wanna make sure that I see everything touching here. These are not going to touch. So if I keep going with this, the letter spacing, it's just gonna overlap too much so you can see it came up here and it came here so I'm gonna put my letter spacing a little bit more so this isn't gonna be perfect here but everything else is touching the way I wanted it to be so instead of going down and pushing attach button I'm gonna push the weld button and the reason I did the weld is because if you did attach you would actually see all those little cut lines here when you cut it out. So if you do the weld it welds everything together for you so again I'm gonna shrink my screen bring this in a little bit so I can shrink it up and then I'm gonna make my screen bigger and show you guys so that's how I got this one see exactly so now I have those two so now I'm gonna show you really quick how to do this one again easy peasy so simple to do so I'm gonna go over here grab uh, hit the shape button grab a heart bring it down and I'm gonna duplicate it right away um, you can change the size here if you want you can change the color but just for the purposes of the video I'm not gonna worry about the color I'm gonna change the size a little bit because I'm gonna duplicate it and I want each one of these hearts to be the exact size so I'm gonna go ahead and have it selected go up here to the duplicate button and I'm gonna hit three more times so there we go so now we have four of them so I'm just gonna move them over a little bit give them each a little bit of room and then I'm gonna go back in, select this one. Actually, I'm gonna just go up here to the text box and I'm gonna type an L. So because we were using the I Love Glitter uh, font last, that's what it's gonna give us. I don't like that for this one. So I'm gonna go out of here. I'm gonna X out of that. I'm gonna go back to all. And I'm actually gonna type in something. I found Beyond the Mountains. That's what the other one is. And I really like how that looks. So I'm just gonna type that in and here it is beyond the mountains I thought that looked really cute so this is this font up here so now you just got to go in put it over that and kind of get it in the middle so where it fits like where it's large enough that's not going to hang over your heart and the next part I like to do is actually select both the heart and the L and then I go up to the align button and I center it so that puts it directly in the center for me so while I have these two already selected I'm gonna go to the slice button down here and that is gonna get rid of this original L that I had and here is the cutout if I can get into it. Sometimes you can't get into it, so you can go over here to the side and grab it, and I'm just gonna X out of that one. So here it is right here. Sorry, my stuff popped up down here. So that is it right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Go to the text box, type in O, and here is the O. And you just wanna resize it to whatever size fits inside of your heart. And I like to um, center it. So I select both of them, go to the line button, and then center it. Wow, it was pretty good. So since they're both selected already, do the same thing. Go to the slice button. Here's the original. You can also move this too, and then you'd have the old one here that you just sliced out. Doesn't really matter if you move them around. So then I'm just gonna do this really quickly. You know how to do this. I'm gonna fast forward this, and then I'll show you the next part of lining them up really quick. So I'm just gonna finish this. Okay, so I have all these done. I like how they are. So the next thing I want to do is actually get them closer together, trying to get about the same amount of space in between them. Um, I don't use my grids a lot on here. I'm just going to bring it up just for you. Just in case you don't know, you can push a little empty square up here and it will give you and get rid of your grids. I don't really use them a lot, but maybe for this purpose, just to show you, I will. So I'm just going to actually put them in here and kind of go by my grid to make sure I'm spacing them correctly. And once you get it where you want it to be, again, I'm gonna get rid of my grids. So I like it better when I don't see it. And you wanna center it and make them equal on each side. You wanna select all four of them, and then you go to the align button up here, and you can do align top or align bottom, and then that will bring them exactly up 
top to each other and then bottom to each other so that means that everything will cut out the way it looks and to be honest with you I don't like this L it looks a lot smaller than these guys so I think I might go in there in a little bit and just change that up make it a little bit wider but it just does not look as good as the other one so last thing I'm going to do for this is select all four of them and then go to weld right here and then that will cut each one of these out together so instead of it cutting out individually the L O V E it'll cut out just as you see it so again you can go in here and change the color if you want you can change the size whatever you need but like I said easy peasy these are so much fun to make uh, I cut out a few already I already did some of these so I know that my size that I'm going to be using is actually about a six by one six by one and a half so I'm gonna show you really quick how I do this one I have it selected already I'm gonna go to the unlock box and I'm gonna change it to be six by two Oops. There we go. So this will be the size of my uh, candle part to it. So I don't really like how it looks a little bit stretched to me. So I'm actually going to shrink it a little bit. And it all depends on how you want it to look. So if I do that with this one as well, I'll select this one, unlock it, change it to be six by two. And kind of go from there judge and see how you want it to be um, my candles came from the dollar store so I just took my green mat and I put it up next to it to see where it should go so it all depends on how big you want it but I hope this tutorial helped you out I'm gonna finish these up I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out and then I'll show you what they look like but again these were so easy so simple to do you can do it for Valentine's you can do it for birthdays you know whatever you want um, especially for Christmas I think it would be really beautiful uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out all right, so I'm in my bathroom. It's kind of silly, but I wanted to show you guys. So if you have candles like this, you see that you have stickers on them. If you just try pulling them off, they just rip. So I came up with a solution for this. You could soak this or use some stuff and get it off, but I just take a simple hair dryer, put it on high. And peel it off. And it works so much easier this way. Comes off in one whole piece rather than all the little pieces. So you just gotta clean this up a little bit, use the alcohol, finish cleaning it. But instead of the pieces and chunks all over like this, it comes off in one simple step. All right, so I had, I've gotten all of the stickers off of here. That worked really well, the hair dryer trick. Otherwise I know you can use like Gooby Gone or let it soak overnight, but that definitely did the trick. And here are my files that I cut out. Here's the love one that I created the love you one um, and the difference with these ones are as I used regular vinyl like on this one and then oh then I also made these cute little guys I had to make these guys so I did these in the previous video and so many people loved them that I just decided to make some more there's just little gnomes I'll leave the link below in case you're interested to them but here's like a holographic one that was pretty cool this one's kind of like a rose gold color um, but just wanted to show you that I did a couple different kinds just regular vinyl and then also the uh, holographic vinyl so I have them all cut out I have them all weeded out so the next step you want to do is after you get your sticker off of here you just want to take some rubbing alcohol and uh, a cotton ball or something and rub your candle really well to get off any like debris or any dirt or anything that's on it so you just want to take it with the cotton ball and just rub it really well and you want to do the whole thing because you want to make sure it's all clean. So I already did all these already and I let them dry. I just wanted to show you really quick how you do this. So I'm going to set this one aside and let this one dry over again. So just to jump, jump into the next part, you just want to take your file and then take some transfer tape. I just used some cheap dollar store transfer tape, this contact paper. It works really well. Um, so I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this guy first because he fits just this cute little gnome and um, just going to peel back the transfer tape. This is always the hardest part of this transfer tape is trying to get the back off. Well, that wasn't too bad. So then you want to take your transfer tape, line it up with your file, take your hef nice squeegee, and just rub it on really well, making sure that you're getting any bubbles or anything out. And then I always like to work backwards or upside down to make sure my file comes off. So I just peel it back. And then you just want to take your K9 
candle and I don't know if it shows up on here or not but there is a line down each side of this so I kind of don't I don't want to go on that so I'm just looking to see where I can do it and you just place it wherever you want so when you finish this you need to think are you going to put anything at the top like some jute or like rhinestones or something but you have to think if you're going to put anything at the top or if you're just going to leave it alone then you can put this either in the center or up higher or down lower however you want to do it but i always just go right in the middle first and then i turn it and then just push it down on either side this way I'm not getting any bubbles or anything in it. So here it is. I'm just going to push it really hard with my finger, making sure that it sticks really well. And then once you think you got it, you can peel it back. And if any pieces come up, you can always just use your finger and make it push it down again. But that was working perfect. Oh my gosh, guys, this guy is so cute. Look at that. That is so, so cute. So I'm just going to continue and keep going with the rest of them. So I showed you that one. So I'm going to show you this XOXO one. So again, the sizing comes into play how you want it. It looks really small, right? So once you put it up to your candle, look at So your size really does matter on this. So I'm going to take another piece of transfer tape. See if this one will fit. And again, always fidgeting with the transfer tape, right? So when I'm not using like things that I'm going to be selling or things that really need to be pushed down like on um, wood signs, I always use really, really good contact paper, but this time I'm not. I'm just using just the cheap stuff that you get from the dollar store. So again, I just take my squeegee, push it out really well, flip it upside down, and then I can see if anything's coming up. And then again, you want to work with a clean one. These are all cleaned already. And I'm always looking for the edges to see where they are. And then again, you can go on the side or up higher. And you want to make sure it's centered. So I'm just kind of looking. There we go. And then again, I like just push down the middle with my thumb and then just go on the sides. And you can do this. You can put another one on this side. You can continue and put hearts on it. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can fill it all up if you want. You can leave it just plain on one side like this and then a decal on the other. So I'm just peeling this off. It's just coming straight off. So here is the XOXO one. I might go in and put a few hearts in it on the back here, or I might just leave it. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how I feel, but I'll show you the ending, what I'm going to do with them. I think I might put a, some jute around the top and then also some um, rhinestones that I bought from Dollar Store. Next one I'm going to do is this love one. I really like how this turned out, and it's the holographic glitter vinyl. So I'm going to use this one next. So I'm just going to take another piece of transfer tape. I'm not sure if this one will fit. This one will not fit, but I'm going to use the rest of that transfer tape and a little bit from my other one that I had. Try not to waste anything. And then just take the squeegee and rub the bubbles out and then peel this back. And I like to work backwards just to make sure I get everything off. This one's being a little bit more difficult. That's why I do it backwards so you can see it. All right. So this was really pretty, the holographic. So here it is. It's just the love. And then you just want to take it. And then you want to make sure where your lines are again. So I'm just taking it. And I think I'm going to go this way with it. Up and down. Kind of gauging where I have it. Ooh, this one is pretty. So again, the possibilities are endless of what you can make with them. I'm just doing Valentine's Day ones since Valentine's Day is coming up really quick. So the month after, which is March, which is my daughter's birthday, she'll be sweet 16 and her golden birthday. Oh my gosh, guys. If COVID wasn't here, I'd be throwing her a huge party. Anyway, so the day after is St. Patrick's Day. So you can also do a St. Patty Day candles too. Um... But the possibilities are endless. Wow, this one's pretty. I like this one. So there's the holographic. I'm not sure how well it shows up, but it's the glitter holographic one. So I love these, how they turn out. I think my favorite still 
is this guy. It's got to be, right? Look at how cute he is. So you can change the color. You can do whatever you want. I just did black for this one. I also have another one. Let's see, this holographic one, which is really cool. So I'm going to finish these ones up, and I think I'm going to put a little bit of jute on the top. Um, I yeah, I think either the jute or the rhinestones that I bought from the dollar store, but I'll show you what they look like. But wasn't this easy peasy? <laughs> it was so quick and easy to do. Again, I hope you really like this tutorial. I hope it really helps you out. Please leave me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. But stay tuned to see how I finish these.